and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll see how to calculate interest rate on your savings account. We all know that our bank and credit interest on a savings account might be quarterly or half yearly, but it is also interesting to know how the calculation goes about happening. Now, the interest on your savings account is determined every day determined depending on the closing balance. So the interest is calculated on everyday basis. It will be added up together and then it will be credited at the end of the quarter depending upon your bank. All right. And now the question is that who will decide about this interest rate? Now till 2011, RBI was deciding the interest rate on your savings account, but after uh, 2011, RBI deregulated it and then 2011 onwards, the banks are free to set their own interest rate on your savings account. So, uh, commercialized banks or nationalized banks like SBI, uh, Canada Bank and all do offer uh, interest rate ranging from 3.5 to 4% and uh, uh, private sector banks like Kotec Mahendra, uh, they do offer interest rate uh, till 7% as well. So if you observe your passbook, you can uh, get to know what might be the interest rate. All right. Now, uh, in order to show you how this calculation goes about happening, I have taken the example of a bank passbook. Uh, I have taken the example of uh, SBI. You can see 25th uh, Oh, on 25th December 2016, there has been an interest which has been credited, which is 329, and this is going to be the ending balance. And then on 31st Jan, uh, there is a credit, uh, that means the money may be transferred or deposited, and this is the closing balance that will add up to. Now, what I have done, I have just typed all these dates. In my sheet 1, in the date column, I haven't given any debit or credit. And the ending balance as well, I have typed in as it is, whatever it is. Now, I will show you how a bank has arrived at this interest rate, which is this 357 and this 373. And that is what we are going to look at now. Now, this is the formula to calculate the interest. So, this is the number of days into daily balance into the interest rate divided by number of days in a year. Now this interest that we are talking about is decided by the bank and the banks might revise from uh, quarter to quarter. So you may have to check it up for your bank's website in order to know about the interest details. Now I got the example of a passbook of 2017. So I checked in the interest rate in that particular year it is 4%. There has been changed, but for this uh, uh, quarter, the uh, interest rate is 4%. Now, when it comes to SBI, SBI usually uh, credits your interest on 25th of March and 25th of June, you can see. The first quarter ends by uh, 31st of March, but they will inter uh, credit the interest on 25th of March. Now, we'll quickly uh, see the calculation. See, the formula is to calculate the number of days. So, in order to calculate the number of days, I'm going to make use of data diff function. So, um, so that you don't have to calculate uh, manually upon the number of days. So, start off with equal sign. I'm making use of data diff function. Now, open brackets. This is the starting date, comma. This is the closing date, comma. Within quotations, give it as D. D in the sense it will calculate the number of days, close the brackets into daily balance. So into my daily balance is there in column D6. So D6 into the interest rate. So as I mentioned earlier, the interest rate for the year 2017 is 4% divided by number of days in a year. So that is divided by 365. And then press enter, it will give you the interest rate. So, just double click in order to calculate interest rate um, in all the three cases. Now, you can see the interest rate will be usually credited on 25th of that particular quarter. Alright. Now, on 25th March, you can see in this uh, 25th March, the interest credit is 357. So, how did we get that 357? Is by adding up this daily balance. If you add it, you can see I've got 357. That is the interest rate. And for 25th June, after that, we do not have uh, any transactions. So, the uh, rate of interest, you can see that 
three is the actual interest rate, and that is what we have got. It. And this is how the actual calculation goes about happening. So, or uh, in short, all you have to do is that. Uh, extract these dates so nowadays banks do set your uh, email statement you can just download to your excel sheet and then you can do the calculation by applying this simple formula and that concludes this video if you are watching my channel for the first time do not forget to subscribe to my channel also click on the bell icon for further updates